So I decided I'd do a video of something I'm working on currently, since it's a project that I've pretty much had set aside and left alone for a number of years now, I guess. For anyone curious, I am working on a line stage or a buffer preamp. And as you can see, I've done some measurements here. It has a constant current source on the plate. So this is using PNP transistors instead of NPN down here. It's a little bit different. The LEDs are grounded rather than having a voltage source. And they set, they actually are a constant current source on their own as far as I am concerned to set the uh, bias for the transistors. Anyways, uh, so I did some values, you know, and pretty much for this design here, this is using a 6A, a 7, or a 6080, and the transistors I have are actually overkill 2SA 1962, which are actually for audio amplifiers. Well, sometimes math just as easy, I guess. Ah, so, and the way I'm going to set this up is pretty, I got lots of power supplies, I'm using an old Heath kit. My voltage power supply, which I rebuilt a while back. 1.8 amps in that range at 6 volts. So the filaments are rated for 2.5 amps at 6.3. So they actually draw a little less current once warmed up because these tubes take a lot of current. So all this is is a PCM. DAC. Flashlight. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's a PCM. I can't focus this very well. PCM 2704, which is nice and basic. And Moondorf caps, 10 microfarads. The DAC is, everything's powered through here. I gotta power up the DAC, I guess. Yeah, and then that's the output USB in. So, oh, let's give this a try and see if I even have any audio. I got another power supply just for the DAC. As you can see, I don't even have it powered at the moment. The nice thing about this one is that it has a current control. So, I'm going to push this up to around 5. No smoke. <laughs> no current draw. I'm just going to turn that, adjust that just a little bit so that it can draw a little more current if necessary. That should be about 5 volts there. And, yeah, let's give this a try. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have this nice trusty tripod. Might as well get this out. You get to see my setup here. Yeah, oscilloscope. And there's my receiver, a Sanio 2050 receiver. It's, it looks pretty funky now. I don't know what to call this little preamp, but it's in a little orange Hammond enclosure. So now what I'm going to do... Oh wow, zoom works while it's running. I like that. That's nice. Ah, I don't have a lot of talk. I'm left on this card. So I'm going to go over here. Set my voltage to around 180. Voltage jumps up pretty fast. And the total current draw is about what is that, 70 milliamps. Yeah. So, although the tube is biased uh, at 30 per side, there is obviously 10 milliamps of total current flow, so about 5 milliamps going through the LEDs. So, as long as, you know, assuming that meter is actually calibrated correctly. Now this is all live. I just had those resistors tacked in there because, you know, I don't want to waste my new good resistors if they don't work out. I'll try not to kill myself here. Good thing is, is that my laptop is on a floating ground. And I think it's like tape monitor 2 that I have. What I'm going to do now, get a nice view of everything. 
then you get to see me when I bite myself. Oh, look, this little LED over here works. I have a little green LED in here to indicate when it's plugged into the computer. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of heat. Um, so the computer recognizes that the DAC is in here. Um, all right. It's a promising sign. No hum, no buzz. What's my noise floor like? I can hear the DAC noise before I hear any noise from the, uh, the driver line stage. Theoretically. There we go. DAC works. Cool. pretty good. My 3.4 volts across the uh, cathode resistor. That's this one here. That's how I'm calculating uh, my bias current. All right, so besides that, you know, now that I've had this all figured out, I got to build a power supply, of course. So a couple options are this transformer and choke, which is from an ICO 377. It's labeled on there. I got this chassis here. Hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, for anybody who wants to actually try this circuit out, it is uh, there's the diagram there. And thanks for watching. Leave any comments below. And until next time.